Hey guys, this is Normal Mod, and today I'm going to be showing you the Computercraft mod. Don't get this confused with Red Power's computers. Uh, I prefer this one. It's, I think it's slightly better than the other one because the other one's a bit old and backdated. And it's a bit hard to see the screen, and this has more features. Um, so yeah, I'm using this with TechIt, but you can get the mod standalone. Although one aspect of the mod does use Red Power. Um, wire which you can see here so first of all we have the computer and when you start it up it says craft OS and now you will notice it's got an arrow and an underscore flashing so that's the computer uh, we have a monitor and you can extend the monitor if I had a bigger desk um, and it would all work and you can project things onto the monitor and I'll show you that later uh, next we have the disk drive. Just put you can put uh, CDs by C418, or you can put um, floppy disks in it. And that's a bit retro, but it's cool. Um, and finally, the mod has a turtle, mining turtle, wires turtle, and wires mining turtle. I will come to these in a later tutorial. So the computer, the computer has many programs already preloaded onto it. So if you do programs, it will tell you all the programs. I don't know exactly what all of these programs do, but I know a few of them. Um, Adventures that's a text-based computer game. Uh, CD that plays anything. Actually, no, that doesn't play anything. My mistake. Uh, DJ that which plays anything. Copy and delete. I'll come to that later on. Edit. Edit is where you make and edit your programs. Uh, eject. That just take shoots the CD or floppy disk out. Hello. That's just hello world. Um, help gives you more help menus. Monitor. That's when you just want to display a program on the monitor. Um, move. That just moves a program for, to a different directory. Uh, oh yeah, Lua, I forgot to say that, that's the, you can just type that and then type Lua commands, but Lua is the programming language that this mod uses. If you want to exit the Lua menu, just do exit and do brackets. Um, yeah, there's loads of other things here, Red Pulse, so that just gives that a resume signal, rename, shut down, Worm, that's just a cool game. Um, <laughs> So it's basically snake and I kind of suck at this you get the idea and I think to exit you think you have to kill yourself um, I guess I'll just eat more things so I can there we are um, and enter okay so I'll just show you the help menu there is programs such as shows you the list of programs on the thingy and if you make more programs then they will go on the list help that sh uh, help them program that shows you how gives you help and advice for a certain program uh, help programming that teaches you about the programming language Blua. Um yeah so I'll show you when you make a program you do edit and this is how you make a program not edit it you do test, that'll be the name, and watch your case, it is case sensitive. So, edit test, and now you could type things in here. Uh, obviously, you'll need code. And if you press control, that lets you save or exit, and then save, and then control, exit. And then, if you do programs, then you would see that test is not on there. Yeah, it is see it's right there test so yeah okay I've just written a program um, while true do redstone.setoutput dot back true sleep two seconds redstone dot set output back false sleep three seconds end so while true which is always true um, because it can't be false it will loop this. So basically, it's just going to loop this. And if I press exit and then got redstone here, oh wait, I forgot to start the program. So I do control, save, control, exit, 
and then do test as you can see this redstone goes um, off for three seconds and on for two seconds because that's what I've programmed it to do it's just a very simple basic program um, some things you may need to know uh, control S shuts it down control R restarts the program and control T terminates a loop so control T terminate uh, yeah, restart, control R, that does that, and control S shuts it down so the flashing thing won't come on unless you reclick on that on the program which restarts it. Sorry if this is a bit of a quick tutorial, there will be more tutorials coming next time. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe.